Welcome one, welcome all, welcome. I am Bridger, and I'm here to tell you about a new podcast that I'm putting together called Tales of Citizens. Now, this is going to be a podcast about Star Citizen, the upcoming game from Chris Roberts and Cloud Imperium Games. And... It is going to be in two different forms, audio form, which you can download from a normal podcast RSS feed, and video form, which you'll be able to watch live during the recording and interact with us in the chat room on twitch.tv slash bridger15, or you'll be able to also watch the recorded video on YouTube as well. Primarily, the main goal of this podcast is to create interesting, insightful, and entertaining discussion about Star Citizen and, well, anything else to do about space combat and sci-fi and stuff as we go off on tangents on the show, as we likely will. So... Anybody who's really interested in Star Citizen and you want to hear uh, the the week's important news uh, or very interesting discussion on a specific topic where we delve deep and try to look at it from every angle and talk about controversies and debate which side is right uh, and what should be done. And and we've got a lot of different ideas that we're going to put into this show. And I'm very excited about it. I've had very successful podcasts in the past. You can look up Tales of Tyria or Tales of Heroes for our Guild Wars 2 show and our our Company of Heroes show, respectfully. uh, Respectively. They were both very popular, and I had a lot of fun doing them, and that's why I'm deciding to do it for for, for Star Citizen, because I'm extremely excited about this game, and I have a lot of fun putting these together and creating some great content for you guys to enjoy. But why am I talking to you here? I need co-host. I could sit here and talk all day, but it's just not nearly as enjoyable to just listen to me than to have a dialogue where two people can be talking and disagreeing with each other. If you just hear one person's point of view, um, it can be very difficult to make that an entertaining, engaging show. So I'm here looking for co-hosts who are willing to come on the show and talk about Star Citizen with me. Now, there's a lot of different things that can make a good co-host, but let me finish telling you about the show. If you have not seen Tales of Tyria, uh, the show is going to have uh, structured segments where we will talk about various things. Usually the show will have a feedback segment where we might uh, reveal some piece uh, or a question that the audience has sent in via email from the past week's discussion. So we might wrap up the previous week's discussion with a five-minute sort of follow-up based on some listener feedback. Uh, Then we'll usually have some kind of a news segment. If there's any news for the week, we'll talk about that for five or ten minutes. Now, we're not going to be there to just regurgitate everything that's happened. There are a lot of other podcasts out there for Star Citizen that will do that. If you want to be listening in your car, if you don't have time to do all the research yourself and you want to listen to things, you can go and listen. There's a lot of other podcasts that are putting together important factual news-based stuff. That's not what we're focusing on at Tales of Citizens. We'll definitely talk about the news, but we'll only talk about it if it actually has something worth discussing. If it's just an announcement that everybody's already heard, we assume that you're going to go to the Star Citizen Reddit and check that out. What we want to do is ask questions about the news. If they reveal a new ship and we are going to talk about it, we're not just going to say, and it has this dimensions and it has this thing. We're going to say, now, what do you think this ship is going to be for? Uh, if it, it, it seems to have some bombs on it, do you think it's going to be a bomber? Blah, 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 blah. We're going to be speculating. We're going to be talking. We're going to be discussing the pros and cons and whether we think that's a good thing or a bad thing. Those are the kinds of details that we think people would enjoy, not just the specific facts. Uh, there will be links in the show notes to get much more detailed information on anything that we do discuss on a weekly basis. So that's going to be the news segment. Then we got the mailbag where we may be talking uh, about uh, specific questions or topics that listeners or viewers have sent in. Uh, The roundtable is a very popular segment where we go deep in depth about a very specific thing. Like we're going to say, okay, we're going to try and nail down everything we can about the economy. There's all these loose ends. Let's talk about them. Let's figure it out. Um, It's not, again, not just a data dump where we're just telling you everything that's already exists. We're going to be trying to figure things out uh, and and through discussion and debate. Um, Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? There's a controversy on the forums. They say that we should have this, but currently that's probably not going to be the case. Why should it be the case? These kinds of things are the kinds of things you'll find in the roundtable. Then there are some other topics that are really just too small to devote 15, 20, a whole show to in the round table. Those we put in the table scraps. 
So what makes a good podcast host? Well, obviously, the ability to speak quickly off the top of your head, have a charismatic uh, personality, something that people can relate to, um, and also having a webcam is going to be very important. Um, If you don't have one now, if you have the means to get one, that would be useful. The ability to record in a place where you're not getting a lot of distractions. Unfortunately, uh, podcasts are not very good if in the background you hear somebody, you know, a baby crying or a dog dog barking all the time, things like that. So you have to have some kind of a quiet environment for the duration of the uh, the podcast recording. I have to actually stick my birds completely in the other room because they will not stop chirping <laughs> whenever I'm recording. They always want to be a part of the show. Uh, so you have to be able to get that in order to create a high-quality podcast. Um, you need to be available on a weekly basis uh, to record the show, and you need to be dedicated in so far as you have to be able to go and look up, you know, keep tabs on the community. If you got your 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 finger on the pulse of the community, you're keeping track of the forums, then you're going to have a lot more interesting things to say on the show. So that is also important. Dedication and availability um, and knowledge of the game. Uh, so certainly, hopefully, uh, we're looking for hosts that also have a very good knowledge of everything that we have uh, know up till now and are going to continue to keep knowledgeable about the game. So if you think you have those qualities and you're interested in coming on the show and talking about the game with us, uh, definitely go ahead and click uh, the the link down below here or just um, send an email to host at sound-strategy.net. Again, that's also in the thread below slash description if you're watching this on YouTube. Host at sound-strategy.net. And what we really just need from you is your name, your email. Usually it's the email that you're emailing from, but if you want us to use a different one, go ahead and put that in there. And your Skype ID. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact you and attempt to set up a a meeting so that we can have an an interview one-on-one and just sort of evaluate. I'm going to try to find the best hosts that we can. We're not just looking for one. We're looking for a couple just in case there's uh, we might have two or three people on at any given time. So I really wish you guys luck, and I, and I, I hope to be talking to a bunch of you soon who are interested in helping us out here at Tales of Citizens. And uh, for everybody here, I will sign off. Have a good one, everybody. See you in the verse. <laughs>